Okay, we're gonna do shoulders next. Um, first thing I want to just talk about is hand positioning when you hold the dumbbells. All five shoulder exercises will be using dumbbells. And I'm either going to say, you know, this on the sheet, palms are going to be down or palms are facing each other. If palms are down, then just uh, we're holding like this, palms face each other, just like this, okay? So when you've got the dumbbells, palms down would look like that, palms facing each other would look like that. Simple. All right, here we go. Number one, front raises. And there's two options, palms down or palms facing each other. We're going to start with the palms facing each other, which looks like this, okay? As opposed to palms down, just like this. So stay relaxed, shoulders, legs are shoulder width apart, little bend in the knees, and just a nice little lift, just to there, no higher than your shoulders, like straight out of the front. It's like the, the top of the dumbbell should be even with your nose, roughly. And try not to get the body swinging as you lift, make the arms do the work, a little pause at the top. Okay, that's number one. Uh, an alternative would be to have the palms down, bring them a little closer together, and lifting straight up, just like that. Okay, that's the alternative. Why the difference? Well, they just work the, the muscles, the, the deltoids, just a, a little bit differently. It's a nice variation. Um, okay, number two, overhead press. You can also do this one. You can stand, stand or sit. This is palms facing each other. This is palms facing forward, okay? So if the palms are facing each other, we're just gonna start from here. The elbows are in, it's fairly tight, and just lifting straight up. I'm disappearing from the screen. There we go. Straight up, straight up. The other alternative for this one is to turn the palms forward, elbows go a little wider, and it's a little bit different movement as well. For the deltoids. Good. Number three on the sheet is bent over flies, reverse flies. So, um, not reverse flies, I'm sorry. <laughs> bent over flies like this, and we're going to pull them back. This works the back part of the posterior deltoid, the back of the shoulders. So you want to make sure your back is straight, lifting not, not rounded out, flatten up, push your backside out. Oh yes, show off your backside. There we go. Good. So like I say, three parts of the shoulder, you've got the posterior deltoid, the medial deltoid, and in front, the anterior or the front. So there's actually three main shoulder deltoid, or part, main, three main parts of the deltoid, which is the shoulder. So those are the um, three different ways to work them. Next up, we've got draw the sword. Take one dumbbell only. This is number four on the, on the uh, list. Bring it across your body and pull, like you're pulling a sword out of a sheath. So this works the middle part, the medial deltoid. And again, you don't want to have the body help you. You want to be controlled, tighten your tummy muscles, that were just engage the core, pull that up, and switch sides. Okay, just like that, pull it across. And primarily you should feel this in the medial or middle part of the deltoid. The last one's lateral dumbbell raises. So you're standing nice and tall like this. And we're just gonna lift them up no higher than their shoulders. Don't take them up to there. That's what they call a contraindicated exercise. Not good, hard on the shoulders. You don't want to impinge. So just there. Sometimes people will bend their elbows a little bit. That's perfectly fine. Doesn't change it that much. You just don't want to keep your arms totally straight. Don't keep, keep them a little bit of a bend. See that bend there? Up we go. So you're going to say, didn't we already do this one? Well, not exactly. The other one was, was a bent over lift, which works the back posterior part of the deltoid. When you stand tall, you work the middle. Okay? That is shoulders. Nice job.